Hello everyone, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can customize the look and feel of J Jira instance in your organization. So to get started, um, you need administration access. So you need to be Jira admin to configure any of the look and feel in the, uh, in, in the Jira inst um, installed instance in your organization. So once you're logged in as Jira administrator, you can either go to the cog wheel here in the right hand side and go to the system um, and it will open the system administration and all the user interface or look and feel items are listed below the user interface. So in last tutorial, we have covered how you can customize default user preferences and system dashboard. And in this tutorial, we'll learn how you can customize look and feel announcement banner and rich text editor. Right, so that's the first way to go to the um, user interface uh, section or you can simply uh, click on the banner at the top and just press the full stop on your machine and type in whatever uh, item you want to go into the administration panel. So I want to open look and feel. I'll click on the look and feel. And now here you can see a lot of options. So you can update the logo. So this logo is the logo here at the top so this is your this can be your company's logo uh, you can choose a file uh, upload a file and this logo can be changed or you can upload it from the url so if if your logo is at certain url you can provide the url url and upload the logo here the next uh, option is uh, to show the site title so um, you can uh, show the site title so whatever instance name that you have given for your jira instance will appear uh, next to the logo header all right so if you click on that checkbox it will appear there the next option is the fav icons and fav icon is the small icon that you see here at the top um, that you can change as well so we'll try and update uh, these items first and then we'll come back to the color section later so click on choose file. So I have um, the logo already. I'll choose the file and click on upload logo. And once this upload happens, you can see that the logo has been uploaded uh, and the color of uh, the, the color of the Jira uh, header has changed automatically to match the logo. Now the next option is I'll show you um, click on the show site title and click on update and see what change it brings in so you can see now that Jira is the instance name for my Jira I can change this instant name instance name to anything I'll change it to RCV Academy and then this new name will appear here so whatever instance name you have provided for your Jira installation will appear next to the logo if you check this show title show um, site title next is the five icon so as of now you can see the five icon is still the Jira icon here uh, we'll change the five icon as well click on choose file and we'll uh, choose the same file and upload five icon and now this five icon should change to RCV Academy um, five icon as well now you can see that the fav icon has been updated to the rcv academy fav icon as well so um, the more clearer image you have it will be uh, better so for example the for the logo as well and for fav icon the more clear the image is the better it will look for the instance but this is just a demo to show you how you can customize the look and feel so now you can see all the color customization and logo etc has been customized as per your instance now coming back to the color section so by default the header matches with the logo that you choose however you can still have flexibility to choose whatever background or uh, the colors that you you want to so for example you have a lot of color options here if you scroll down at the bottom uh, uh, that you can choose and apart from from the color uh, you have the date time format you, if you want different date time of format etc so that uh, option is available as well so let's go back to the color uh, customization as well so for example on the header uh, you want to customize 
the color so i want to make it a bit uh, the lighter shade so i'll just choose a bit light shade and then click on update right now if you see at the top once the update happens so header background this is the background um, color uh, and then header highlight background color i'll change that as well to the light background and similarly this i'll lighten a bit as well and then header separator i'll make it a bit light all right so once you have done that uh, if you refresh the instance it should update the color as per the chosen color in the scheme so after the refresh now you can see the colors have been updated the header colors have been updated to the color that we have chosen um, now coming back to other section so you can choose the gadget colors as uh, you like so there are different colors uh, for the gadgets uh, you can update those uh, there are some colors um, like link active heading color so all these colors do you you have option to choose whatever is convenient and whatever is suitable as per the color schemes of the organization so coming back to the time format date and time format you can edit the date and time format as well as per um, different options so uh, you can uh, update the day format the time format the complete date and time format etc um, as per different uh, options available in the um, as per the requirement of the organization so these are um, so you can also visit the online documentation for the date time formats and what can you use in the date time format etc so this is about the look and feel for the jira instance now coming back to the announcement banner so announcement banner is the banner or the announcement uh, that will appear on the jira instance if there is some scheduled maintenance or uh, the jira instance is down etc so if you go to the announcement banner section you will have the option to create the announcement right so for example you can say scheduled maintenance or scheduled um, jira maintenance all right so and then you can provide the date and time if it is a public um, announcement or a private announcement so if you choose private it will be only visible to the person who is logged in if it is a public announcement anyone who accesses this jira instance this banner will be uh, visible to the person so you can see the banner is available here schedule jira maintenance right uh, then coming back to rich text editor you can enable or disable rich text editor from the rich text editor section so that's pretty much all about the look and feel announcement banner and rich text editor in jira instance so with this we have completed all the configuration sec uh, settings that are required under the user interface section um, in de default user preferences system dashboard etc in the first tutorial and in this current tutorial we have covered look and feel announcement banner and rich text editor so thank you very much for watching and please do share and subscribe for more tutorials like this thank you